on the day of your child testimony's graduation marriage, the day of your child celebration, you will not be recognized with one minute standing ovation. I pray for every parent. The day your child will be celebrated, having a big day. One minute ovation will not be used to recognize you and say, so sorry, the mother is not present to witness this big occasion. The father is not present to witness this big occasion. Nobody will sit in your place on the day of your child celebration. You will not labor in vain. You will not labor in vain. I pray for you, you will not labor in vain. I declare you will not labor in vain over your children in the name of our Lord Jesus. The Bible says something in the book of Isaiah chapter 65. God gave me this um, prayer, this body to pray this prayer. Many parents, male, female, father or mother, labor so much to train their children at the edge to enjoy the fruit of their labor. Death will take them away. May it not be your portion and never be my own portion in the name of Jesus. We will not labor in vain. I want you to declare to yourself, I will not labor in vain over my children. I will not labor in vain. Carrying a child for nine months as a mother or as a father, being there, taking care of a child. And when it's time for you to eat the fruit of your labor, death will come knocking and another person will inherit what you labor for. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah chapter 65, 21 to 23. Isaiah chapter 65. 21 to 23 said, They shall build houses and inhabit them. They shall plant vineyards and eat their fruits. They shall not build and another inhabit. They shall not plant and another eat. For as the days of a tree, so shall, so shall be the days of my people. And my elect shall long enjoy the work of their hands. They shall not labor in vain nor bring forth children for trouble. For they shall be the descendant of the blessed of the Lord, and their offspring with them. We will not labor in vain. We will not bring forth children for trouble. I pray for you. The Bible said according to it, so we eat the fruits of our doing. We will not plant for another person to harvest. We will not build houses for another person to inhabit. We will not plant vineyards and another person to eat the fruits. I cover every parent in the blood of Jesus. I soak every parent as you are laboring day and night, as you are working hard and going hungry, as you are working under the rain, working under the sunshine to be able to provide for your family, your children. Having sleepless nights, taking loans, selling properties, your even your own. Some mothers went as far as selling their clothes to feed their children, to train them in school. The same with fathers. And when the children are made, when you need to relax and say, Thank you, Father, this is my time to enjoy the fruits of my labor, then something comes up. Death comes. In the name of Jesus, I want you to open your mouth and declare that shall not be my portion. Lord, I reject it. It shall not be my portion. In the name of Jesus, begin to declare it's not my portion. Will never be my portion. I will not labor in vain over my children. I will not labor in vain. I will not plan for another to have it. In the name of Jesus, I will not labor in vain. I will not be for for trouble. Begin to declare in the name of Jesus. I will live long in divine health, prosperity, to enjoy the fruit of my labor over my children. Some built houses, their cars are the one buried there. They never live there. Some buy cars. The cars is what swallowed them in death. We, 
as a parent, we will not labor in vain over our children. And I pray that our children will not die untimely. Many children, on the day of their graduation, they died. It's laboring in vain too. Many children, when they are married, about to give birth, they died, leaving their parents in tears. The time you're supposed to enjoy is vice versa. Is vice versa, it's too within. The time the parents are supposed not to enjoy the children, calamity will come and befall them. I see many young women died in childbirth. I see many young men die. I see there's so many things that's coming from anywhere. Three bullets, I don't know, you name it. Sickness, attack here and there, poison. I cover everything that pertains to all that consigns us with the blood of Jesus. The Lord will keep us all. The Lord will keep the parents. The Lord will keep the children in perfect good health. Our children will be for signs and wonder. We will not give birth for trouble. The children will not be in pain and shame. They will bring good things. They will bring good tidings. They will bring joy and honor to the family, not disgrace. And I cover every parent in the blood of Jesus. I cover every child with the blood of Jesus. Be it grown-up child, be it still undergrown or whatever language we use. Whether the person is married, whether the person is still a youth, as you have seen the beginning of your child or your children, you will not see their end in the name of Jesus. I pray for every parent. When it's time for you to enjoy the fruits of your labor, death will not take you away. And I pray for every one of us. Our children will live. We will give birth to children of honor. Children that will be worthy and proud of. Children that will have a fear of God, that will make us proud. Children that will not bring shame and disgrace. In the name of our Lord Jesus. And every parent will live to enjoy the fruit of their labor for over their children. And the children will not die untimely. The Bible says we will live to see our children, children. That is my prayer for everyone. I pray so shall it be. In the name of God the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Whatsoever program, programming that you will not eat the fruits of your level over your children, may God Almighty by His power destroy them. I pray for you. The evil program of the wicked over your life, your children will not stand. Both parents, both children will enjoy each other. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. And amen and amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you.